She must have gotten some corn on her back when I was putting grain out a little bit ago. Hey everybody, thanks for watching our video this week. We are talking about what it takes to get ready for lambing. So I'm going to go through all of the tools and stuff that we need. Not really, they're not really tools. It's more like equipment, I guess you could call it. But anyways, we're going to talk about lambing. I don't know if I've ever talked about this on a video. I may have on Instagram, but I don't know if it's ever been like in the video for YouTube. We have 75 mainly Katahdin hair sheep. Um, we have a few Dorpers that have influenced some of our ewes that we've kept before we gained these 70. Um, but in May we bought 70 Katahdin hair sheep and brought them home from Kentucky. And that is what we are getting ready to lamb now. What do you think, Waddles? You're my favorite, aren't you? Waddles right here that we call her. She is consistent to having twins and typically twin ewe lambs, which we like. She is a good nah. mama. This ewe right here is out of her first set of twins that she had. She's a little bit of a pet though. She thinks she's a dog which makes it very difficult. So this lambing is really going to be kind of an experiment for us. We've never lambed in a large group like this and the experiment part is really going to be how we do our records and how we flow through the barn during lambing and work the jug system and everything. We are due to start lambing in 15 days. Today's February 5th, the day I'm recording this. and. If everybody sticks to the math right, they should start February 20th and we'll go through the end of March. So there are a lot of lambing videos coming up in your future if you want to keep watching. There is always the chance that some will come early, just like human babies. Some feel more ready to come sooner. Um, so we will try to get everything set up today. That way we are ready whenever they are. We are also really into record keeping on the farm so we want to know for the future of our flock which use had twins which use raised twins to weaning which use had to have lambs pulled off because they could only support one etc etc so we have kind of gathered all of our supplies for lambing this year we have our sling and fish scale is just like a cheap fish scale. I'll link it in the description. I got it on Amazon. We've got our tags. All the lambs this year are going to get orange tags. Milk replacer and colostrum if we need them. Hopefully we will not need too much. It's good to have it in case we do. And then we have learned a lot from Sandy Brock who is a sheep farmer in Canada. And she uses spray paint a lot. Just trying to keep track of lambs and moms and making sure that the right lamb is finding the right mom to nurse and things and they're not stealing from others so we're we'll see how that goes for us so sandy will spray paint on the ewes which number they are in sequence of lambing so the first ewe that lambs gets a number one and her lambs get the number one so that she can tell those two lambs, or that single, whatever it is, that number goes with that U. Um, and she uses different colored spray paint for the number in the lamp. Singles would be one color, twins would be another color, triplets, etc. would all be their own individual color. So we're going to see how that works for us. I'm thinking we might try because... All of our ewes have their own individual tags, which is not uncommon for farms, um, livestock farms. But instead of like a 10 digit number, our tags only have two on them. So I don't know if I will do Sandy's method of numbering the ewes in sequence, or if I will just use the ewes tag number for the lambs tag number. 
we'll probably experiment with that also because it'll take time to figure out and see what works best for us. This binder is probably going to be the most essential part of lambing this year. We found this sheet. It's by the Ontario Sheep Association, I think. I'll link it in the description below. Um, but it is a U record. So it starts at the top with like all the U's information. And we're going to fill each of these out as they lamb since this is the first lambing for the majority of them because we got them in May this year. It'll include the date they lamb, the sex of the lamb, birth weight, if they were born as a twin and raised as a twin, or if they were born as a twin and then raised as a single for some reason. And then in a few months we will gather weaning dates and weaning weights and then take any other comments there. I'm really excited to get it all in one place. In the past for our lamings, we've just had a notebook and it's worked well because we've had small groups but with a group this size this sheet and this binder is really going to help it all be in one place and organized all the same so that I can keep the same records for everybody. You ever feel like you're being watched? <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. We are excited to get to lambing and those are the, all the tools we're going to need to get through lambing hopefully as smoothly as possible. If you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. And if you're on Facebook, make sure you like our page so that you don't miss out. We will see you next time. Thanks!